Hi everyone, it's Rax. A few weeks ago, I made the Ball Lightning Guide, which I called the best build in Diablo 4, which I still think it is. And with the Avatar of Zir coming out at the end of the month or beginning of December, which by the way, I think is going to be very, very difficult. There's been a lot of updates to the build that I want to show you. So when you saw it last time, my build was hitting for about 100,000 per tick on Ball Lightning. Now it's gotten a little bit stronger. So let me demonstrate that for you real quick. Here's a normal training dummy. And I do not have the right stuff, by the way. You can see it's hitting anywhere from 800,000 to about a million. And I've got infinite mana everywhere. And I'm shooting ball lightnings everywhere. So the, the magnitude of the damage has went up significantly. And also the quality of life has went up significantly. So I want to go through and explain to you how this works. Now, you don't need to take any notes reason why is North War has already updated the guide for you. He's been testing a bunch of stuff and he has added a max DPS variant, which is probably what we're going to need to do the Avatar of Zero to have a chance. There's also a Nightmare Dungeon push variant, which has a little bit more defense. But I'm going to essentially explain to you what we're going what well, what we've changed since the video and why this build is just absolutely dominating now. So the first and most obvious thing is the Tal Rasha ring just came out. If you did not know, you can fight Varshan and get it. I think the drop rate is like maybe 1 in 10, maybe a little bit better than that. Uh, I actually got this on my first try. I only killed him one time. I got this. This is a pretty good ring. But for each elemental damage type, you deal 13%, you get up to 15% multiplicative damage, right? Well, multiplicative damage is, is the king in this game. So uh, we have our different damage types. Um, first of all, with our enchantment slot, um, I go chain lightning, we'll get to that in a second, and firebolt is going to do burning damage, which is going to give us fire damage, right? That's the first thing. Ball lightning is lightning. That's pretty obvious. Now, ice or cold damage is not, not as easy to get. There's a bunch of different options, but the option that you want to take is ice blades. Now, one reason might be because they're just sitting right there and they just automatically attack, right? They're just kind of doing the work for you. There's also an additional reason to that. You can also take something like Conjuration Mastery. It's going to give you, again, more damage. And um, so Ice Blades is definitely the way to get your cold damage. Uh, Frost Nova, you'd be like, well, why don't you use that? Because then you can get the vulnerable. Frost Nova doesn't work because Frost Nova doesn't do damage. So that's why we have to spec out of it. Unfortunately, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, and then the, the final part of that is infection. Infection, the vampiric power, inflicts poison damage, and that counts for Tal Rasha. So you can see here, when I activate my ice blades, I've got one and two from the fire damage, and then we get the poison, and then we get the lightning. So we get four stacks of this multiplicative damage, and then you start to destroy. The other thing that changed is you'd be like, well, you're playing ball lightning, right? But you don't have the ball lightning enchantment slot. And I think it's way smarter to go with chain lightning. The reason why is it gives you essentially infinite mana when you take this. Every time chain lightning bounces, you get three mana. Another thing that you can do when you're first starting out to solve your mana problems, remember in the previous video when we went over the guide, talked about the main thing here is you need to solve your mana problems you can spec all the way into here where it starts to drop crackling energies and remember from this passive crackling energy gives you 12 mana so when i'm fighting here i always have the option it's spraying or crackling energies everywhere to just go get more mana and we can drop prodigies entirely now because we have items like this with mana cost reduction and the resource generation we have enough mana where all we have to do is move around a bit, pick up the crackling energy, and then we'll go back to full mana. Again, if you don't have enough, just spec into the full path of chain lightning, throw more crackling energies to get more mana back. So to demonstrate that, got the ice blades up, we go here, we evade over. Okay, if I'm running out of mana, which I'm really not, but if I am, move around. See, just move around, pick up the crackling energies, and now I'm never going to run out, right? One thing I'm completely missing is I don't have a God Slayer crown and I don't have a Shaco. I will get one or the other. I'll probably get both. Getting ready for Varshan and or uh, Avatars here. I'm going to have all five classes at 100 with perfect gear. As close as I can get anyway. So um, 
if I had that, I bet you this ball lightning is going to be ticking for close to a million of a tick, if not higher. And <laughs> that's really strong. You can see how fast they attack. It's unbelievable. You can insta vaporize a world boss like this. And then I think in the final version, you have to move disobedience to your amulet. I think you probably just drop accelerating. Accelerating is nice for the attack speed, but I think you, you just don't have any options. You cannot put disobedience anywhere. Because if you go Raymond, I guess actually possibly you could drop Raymond. It depends on how the avatar is set up. Maybe we don't need the stun or something, or maybe maybe somehow we can get away with getting rid of Raymond and going the quad defense and throwing the disobedience there. But uh, I think you're definitely going to use Tibalts. By the way, my Tibalt sucks. I need a much better one. Esu and then Godslayer or Shaco. So your whole, your whole, all your defense is uniques. So you don't have an option to put disobedience anywhere. So I think you throw it on the amulet, um, which is shown in the Nightmare Dungeon push version. I think if you don't put disobedience on your amulet, I think you're going to die. Unless maybe we slot out Raymond and we throw disobedience there, possibly. Um, anything else that I can tell you about the updates? Um, this is a fun, this is a funny one. So Esus says all the stuff about fire damage. It actually works for lightning. And uh, Nick too made a nice video, and he was reporting that there's a bug with Beer's Mastery. So uh, actually, in the max DPS variant, I think you go Esus, and for some reason it works, and it gives you a nice damage increase when it really shouldn't. So that's certainly going to change in season three. Um, but yeah, pretty much go Chain Lightning. Take Destructive Chain Lightning if you're running out of mana. Get rid of Frost Nova. Get Ice Blades. Go to Varshan. Get your Talrasha Ring. I think here should be everything else should be pretty self-explanatory. I like to take the Firebolt and Chat for the Burning and then take Devouring Blaze. Um, Devouring Blaze is still fantastic, even though crit uh, critting is not as important anymore. I mean, this is how you dominate, guys. I think it's going to be absolute pain town when Avatar of Zir comes out. I think either... There's a couple contenders here. I think it's either this or Hoda Barb or Pulverized Druid. I, remember I predicted it before the season even started? I, my Pulverized Druid is getting close to 100. People can't believe how strong that build is. I'll make a video when I get my Pulverized Druid to 100. People are like, my Pulverized Druid sucks on bosses. My Pulverized Druid one-shots bosses. It's, it's, it's like cheating. Um, but this is still, if not the best build in the game, it's one of the best builds in the game. It's one of the best builds in the game to go for the Avatar of Zir. Set it up like this. Follow the Maxwell Guide. Look at the variants down below one more time. They're down here at the bottom. The level 100 variants. Look at the Nightmare Push. Look at the Max DPS. Set it up. What can I say about the Paragon board real quick? Um, look how many glyphs we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven glyphs. I think we have two legendary nodes as well. Um, so for the multiplicative damage to vulnerable enemies, and then of course this is the yeah, the light the mana back on chain lightning. So uh, seven glyphs with two legendary nodes is is pretty insane if I'm if I'm counting correctly. Anyway, I hope this update helps you guys make some changes to your chain to your ball lightning sorcerer if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the avatars here and let's see how far we can get. Thank you.